This is the speed profile of a 100 meter athlete I coach. Speed profiles like these can be very beneficial to measure at specific times throughout the season or each and every season. They give you insight into the acceleratory capacity of your athletes, what their max velocity is, how long they can hold that speed for and so much more. Depending on these parameters, you as a coach or athlete can adapt your training sessions to improve weaknesses or to better hone into the athlete's strengths. Now for this video we'll be measuring with the free lap timing system, but there are other devices out there that you can use to build out your speed profiles of your athletes. Before we set everything up, you'll first need some free lap equipment. For the most accurate results, you'll need 10 Junior Pro cones and a TX Touch Pro or E starter. And of course, a FX chip BLE that will hold the time. With this setup, you'll be able to get 10 meter split times and thus you can map out the speed of your athletes over every 10 meters. This setup will cost you somewhere around 1600 to 1800 euros or 1750 to 2000 US dollars. On to the practical setup, which is pretty straightforward. Start with the Touch Pro or E starter on the starting line. Every 10 meters and 80 centimeters, you put one Junior Pro cone in lap mode. The 80 centimeter extra is because of the detection radius that is 1.5 meters. So if you would have put the cone on the exact 10 meter marks, the chip would be detected on the outer edge of the radius and not in the middle, so the first split time you would get would have been 9 meters and 20 centimeters instead of the 10 meters you want. So on the 90.8, the 80.8, the 70.8, the 60.8, the 50.8, the 40.8, 30.8, 20.8 and 10 meters and 80 centimeter mark you put a junior pro cone that is set in the lab setting. The final cone that is placed 80 centimeters after the finish line is set in the finish mode. Once that is done, you're almost ready to test your athlete. The final thing you gotta do is create your exercise in the My Free Lab app. This is not a necessity, but if you want Free Lab to calculate the speed per 10 meters for you, you'll need to do this. Open the app, go to the Exercise submenu and tap the plus icon. Type the workout title like 100 meter sprint profile for instance and in the description you can put 10 meter intervals just so you don't forget. Keep the sport at running. Unless you are using a roster of athletes you can keep the timing method at standard. Put distances on yes and add 10 meters 10 times. Tap the next and then the save button and you're good to go and start a workout. Start your workout by going to the dashboard menu and tapping the plus icon once again. Make sure before you hit start that you first select the exercise that you just created, otherwise all that work would have been for nothing. Now it is up to the athlete to run the 100 meters as fast as possible. Once he or she finishes, you will get the data in your My Free Lab app. If you use the pre-created exercise we showed you, you will have the mean speeds per 10 meters as well as the time intervals per 10 meter. The only thing left to do is plot this data out in Excel or somewhere else and then interpret the data. There are two main things you can do. Either you compare the athlete's data with one of his or her previous measurements or you compare the data to other athletes. If you compare to other athletes, make sure to take into account that other measurement tools might have been used so data might not be 100% comparable. Concerning the interpretation on the data, diving deeper into this matter brings us a bit too far off topic from the initial setup of this video. But if you like to see those in-depth analysis of a speed profile, make sure to let us know in the comments down below. For now, it would mean the world to us if you'd like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on new videos.